Hey guys, I've had some requests to do a video about minimalism or what I like to call more simple living because I think it has less stigma to it. Um, and we have about simple living and gift giving, receiving, especially as it pertains to kids. And this can be a pretty awkward topic to navigate because gift giving and receiving is supposed to be about gratitude and thought and love and appreciation. But at the same time, there is a lot of like expectation with gift giving and over gift giving. And at the end, the end of the day, like things are things. And if you're trying to live a more simple life and trying to buy things that are doing the least amount of harm to the environment and people and animals and everything else, then um, you have to like find a way to control what's in your own home. So um, I'm just gonna kind of mostly tailor this to kids because I think that's what most people had in mind and it's easier to control your own things than it is to control kids stuff, kid clutter <laughs> especially. So holidays are coming up. For us it's like double whammy because I both my kids have November birthdays and then it's Christmas. And as much as I would just love to put on the invitations, no gifts please for their birthdays, A, people are gonna bring them anyway, and B, kids like opening things and I don't wanna like take that away from them. I just want it to be really, really small and controlled. So um, we just get them like one thing each, something really small, like we don't go nuts. Like I showed those little Etsy figurines, that's what they're getting. And then um, as far as what other people give, it starts with like a really honest conversation with people that are close to you. So um, when we kind of embarked on this like simple living, really trying to hone in on eco-friendliness, environmentalism, and humanitarianism, and just like all the things that go into producing all these like items that we consume. Um, I just had a really honest talk with all the grandparents because they're the ones that buy the most stuff, in my family at least. They all, almost all of them like to shop. We've got five of them. And every time they would come visit, they just would bring stuff. And it's so well-intentioned and made with love, but it made for so much stuff in our house. And it also made that associations that when one of the grandparents come, they're going to bring things. And I want the association to be that they're coming because they love you and they want to spend time with you. So I had a big talk with them about like our goals with simple living in the environment and production of things and where things end up, which is like inevitably the landfill and everything. Just what our kind of goals were there for our family and for raising our kids as unmaterialistic as possible. And that was a good starting place. I don't know that it is always sticks. You can't really control other people. So in the case that you do end up with too much stuff, donating is great. It prevents someone else from buying something that you don't want in your house. So one option if you get things that you don't want is to donate. But um, I think the best thing is prevention. So if people know that that's the goal, then they'll buy you less, hopefully. And then also if people ask specifically what you want, I have been making Amazon wish lists for the last couple of years so that it has things that... I think the kids would enjoy that can be used for multiple years for both kids for different purposes that aren't like one type of use toys etc so that's a way to control kind of what's coming into your house and um, also I've been asking for consumables or for experiences so for kids you know like art supplies or like a special snack they don't get very often or experiences like um, money toward a, like swimming lessons or any kind of lessons or like a pass to a local museum or like things like that that you can do together with them instead of things that they like have. And then the other side of receiving gifts is of course giving gifts. So now I'm a lot more mindful when I'm buying gifts. I used to have this mindset of like, oh, it's their birthday, I have to buy them something. And you don't have to, there's no rules. Like if you want to break that cycle of like constant gift giving with someone, just don't buy them a present like you don't have to I know that sounds so mean to say but like I have a friend who every year we would send each other a birthday gift and I just I don't know what she wants I don't know what she needs and so this year instead of buying her a gift I just made her a really nice card and I wrote like our top 10 memories on there and I decorated it and I sent it to her and she said that that was the most thoughtful gift that she got and her favorite gift out of everything she received so that meant a lot to me to hear and it meant a lot for her to receive and that's the point of gift giving is like meaning behind it. So um, I think making things is a really good option um, or really honing it down if there's someone you still want a gift, like give them something really small but thoughtful so that they kind of are getting the message that like everyone's toning it down a little bit um, and especially like at Christmas we've just been really like prepping everyone and the family like really small, really light, like, it's not what Christmas is all about, you know, just trying to, like, 
keep it really light, keep it light and fun. And then the last thing is to give people consumables because then they, um, you know, aren't collecting cut clutter, yada, yada, yada. But also you're, again, sending a message and communicating that um, those are the types of gifts that you would like to receive too if those are the types of gifts you're giving. So I hope that's helpful. Again, it's just super awkward. I probably offended some people with some of the things I said. I'm not meaning to. That's just kind of like what we've been doing with the awkward thing of thing more things. <laughs> so let me know if you have any questions or comments or ideas for me or anyone else who's reading them, um, especially as the holidays are approaching and a lot of people celebrate. Like, what can we do to be more mindful? So thanks for watching and have a good day. Bye.